Hello there ladies and gentlemen, my name is OneSkill and in today's video I will be teaching you step by step how you can create awesome 3D portfolio animation using PowerPoint and a little bit of Paint 3D. So let's get started. So let's open up a fresh blank new presentation, let's go to new and click on blank presentation. Beautiful and let's set the layout to blank layout, we don't need any image placeholders and let's have a quick look at the original presentation so that we can see what is the next step. And as you can see we have here 9 beautiful photos, 3 by 3 so here you could basically use anything that you want for your 3d portfolio it could be your product photos your project photos your pet photos anything that you want in this case we are using some beautiful photos of new york city so let's go to unsplash.com and let's find these beautiful photos and before we jump into the action, I want to say huge thanks to all of my Patreons who support me on Patreon.com. Thank you very much, guys. Because of you, I can keep on creating such amazing videos. And after I'm finished with the tutorial, as always, I will put a post here at the post section and you will be able to download the PowerPoint file of this tutorial. So I hope you like it and let's continue. Let's jump to unsplash.com and let's grab nine beautiful photos so i will speed up a little bit and catch you in a second so i'm back with nine beautiful photos from unsplash.com and the first thing is to check if all of your photos have the same size i mean height and width so let's just click on each of the photos and look at the height and width boxes and see if the numbers are changing so in this case all of my photos have the same height and width so that's cool but don't worry if some of your photos have different sizes you can always go to crop options and crop it to any in this case portrait aspect ratio for example 4 to 5 and this way you will crop all your photos to the same dimensions but in this case all of my photos has the same size so now we can select all of them grab this round bubble at the top right corner and let's reduce the size of these photos and now as in the original presentation let's create this 3x3 three three grid from these beautiful photos so let's start with this photo and let's align it to the top left corner of the slide this will be our top row and now let's just position the rest of the photos and let's make sure that we leave equal spaces between the photos we can hit ctrl a to select all of our photos and let's move them a little bit upwards so that we can better see when we are placing these photos at the bottom and powerpoint should actually help you by showing these red lines and these are called smart guides and they will show you when your photos are in alignment so that's beautiful okay so now we have created this three by three photo grid and now all that's left to do is to create a 3d model out of this uh, out of these photos so for that we have to go to paint 3d let's create a new document and let's paste our photos right here so all you have to do here just click on this button make 3d and voila you have your 3d model and now all that's left to do is just to save this file as a 3d model anywhere that you want on your computer just make sure that you find it afterwards All right, now let's get back to PowerPoint. Let's insert a new slide. So this first slide, basically we can delete it, but let's leave it for now. And now let's go to insert and let's find our 3D model that we have just recently created and let's click insert. Skadoosh, ladies and gentlemen, here's our 3D portfolio model. And here we have this fancy little button in the middle with which we can basically rotate our 3d model and create awesome angles 
So in my original presentation, as you can see, we have this uh, background picture. So we can just copy it and paste it into our slide. Let's make sure we just send it to back so that we don't obstruct the view of our 3D model. But let me actually show you how you can quickly create this kind of background image yourself. So let's just copy this beautiful photo of New York City from above. Paste it into PowerPoint. Let's crop it to 16 by 9 so that it has the same aspect ratio as our slide. And let's drag this photo so that it covers the whole slide and let's move it to the back. And now we can reduce the brightness of this photo. Let's go to picture corrections, brightness slider, and let's enter something like minus 50. And this way we have this beautiful full screen background. All right. Okay, now let's copy this text box so that we save a little bit of time. Now let's duplicate this slide by hitting Ctrl D and in the transition options make sure that you click on Morph. Morph is where the magic happens. Alright and now let's move this text box to the left side. Now let's grab our 3D model. Now let's click on this fancy bubble in the center so that we can change the angle of our 3D model. And let's check it out on the full screen what kind of result do we have. As you can see the text box flies away and our 3D portfolio you know is rotating. So that's beautiful. That's awesome. That is the power of you know 3D models in PowerPoint. You can basically rotate them into crazy angles and create awesome animations. That is beautiful. So let's copy this text box from the original slide as well. Let's paste it over here. And let's paste this text box over here as well. So that with the help of the morph transition, it looks like this text box you know, flies in from the right side. So let's duplicate this slide. And now let's try to recreate this angle as we have in the original presentation. So in this case we can delete this text box. Alright, so let's activate this button in the center and let's rotate our model and with the bubbles at the corners we can increase the size of the 3D model to any, you know, shape that we want, any size that we want. And let's check out what is the, you know, result. Awesome. As you can see we zoom in and at the same time we rotate the 3D model. So that's looking beautiful. Okay, and in our original slide we had this text box which basically explains, uh, you know, which gives a little bit of information about a photo. So in this way, in this case, it's Bushwick, Brooklyn by Alex Simpson. All right, so now let's select this group of elements and hit Ctrl C to copy. And let's paste it into our presentation. And now let's uh, ungroup this group <laughs> because we'll have to make a couple of adjustments. As you can see, our photo is the first photo in our grid. So let's make sure that this line and that, you know, small circle points into the photo that we want. Now select all of these three elements, bubble, circle and the text box, hit Ctrl G to group, so we have one object. 
Now let's paste it on this slide. Just make sure that it stays at the left side of the screen. And when we check out the transition, we should get this Brooklyn text box coming from the left side. Beautiful. So we get the rotation of the 3D model and the text box flying from the left side. Beautiful. So now let's create the final you know, animation. So let's duplicate our slide. Let's move this uh, text box away from the screen. We can delete this small text box. And now with the help of this magic button, let's uh, change the angle of the 3D model. Let's duplicate this text box and let's create a text box here at the right side. So let's ungroup all of the elements. And let's bring this circle right here. Let's make sure that our line points into the new text box. And we can rotate this circle around a little bit so that the line connecting connected to the circle looks okay. Beautiful. And of course, let's just change the information of the photo. So in this case, it's called winter classic so let's just copy that text and paste it into this uh, text box and the author of this photo let's copy it as well and paste it right here skadoosh as you can see it's very easy <laughs> not complicated at all yeah, I mean, the essence is, of course, creating your 3D model and then using the morph transition. That's that's all. So, ladies and gentlemen, congratulations. Now you know how you can create awesome 3D portfolio animation in PowerPoint. So as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, you can use this kind of animation for anything that you want. Your project photos, your product photos, your cats, your dogs, anything that you want. So thank you for watching and I'll see you on my next video.